Sonic the Hedgehog is a 1991 side-scrolling platform game and companion to the 16-bit Sega Genesis game of the same name for the 8-bit Game Gear and Master System consoles. Ancient, a studio founded by composer Yuzo Koshiro for the project, developed the game and Sega published it to promote the handheld Game Gear. The 8-bit Sonic is similar in style to its Genesis predecessor, but reduced in complexity to fit the 8-bit systems. It was released for the Game Gear on December 28, 1991, and for the Master System around the same time. It was later released through Sonic Game Compilations and Nintendo's Virtual Console. The premise and story of the 8-bit Sonic are identical to that of the Genesis game, as the anthropomorphic hedgehog Sonic, the player must race through levels to rescue the imprisoned animals Dr. Robotnik plots to turn into robots. Gameplay is similar too, Sonic collects rings while avoiding obstacles, but is paced slightly slower as the 8-bit version focuses more on exploration. While some level themes, such as Green Hill Zone, are borrowed from the Genesis game, others are original. It also features a different soundtrack composed by Koshiro, which consists of rearranged versions of Masato Nakamura's score for the Genesis game and new material. Reviewers acclaimed the 8-bit Sonic for its level variety, visuals, gameplay, and audio. Many believed it was just as good as the original, although some criticism was directed at its low difficulty and short length. Game journalists retrospectively considered it one of the best Game Gear and Master System games. The game spawned several sequels, beginning with Sonic the Hedgehog 2 in 1992. It was also Anshin's first game and the only Sonic game they would develop. Topic. Gameplay The 8-bit Sonic the Hedgehog is a side-scrolling platform game similar in gameplay and style to the original 16-bit Sega Genesis game of the same name, save for several new and altered game mechanics. As in the original, the anthropomorphic hedgehog Sonic ventures to rescue the animal population of South Island from the diabolical Dr. Robotnik, who plots to turn them into robots. The player jumps between platforms, avoids enemy and inanimate obstacles, and breaks televisions to collect shields, speed shoes, and invincibility, and mark checkpoints. Like the original, Sonic collects rings, which protect him from being hit by an enemy or obstacle. The player starts the game with three lives and will lose one if they are hit without carrying any rings, drown, or fall into a bottomless pit. Losing all lives results in a game over message, if so, they must restart. Gameplay is slightly slower and more focused on exploration than the original. Sonic travels through six levels called zones, each consisting of two main acts and a boss battle with Robotnik. The zones are based on various themes, such as grassy plains, ancient ruins, and jungles. While select level themes are borrowed from the Genesis version, others are original, and all the level designs are different and have no vertical loops. Some of the game's levels require quick precision and others require the player to go underwater. Certain acts have Chaos Emeralds hidden within them, and the player must collect all six to obtain the best possible ending. At the end of each main act, the player hits a signpost, which will spin and land on an image, it can award bonuses depending on the image it settles on. If the player has over 50 rings, they can access a pinball-esque bonus stage where more rings and continues can be collected. Topic. development. In 1990, Sega released the Game Gear, an 8-bit handheld game console designed to compete with Nintendo's Game Boy. Around the same time, Sonic Team worked on Sonic the Hedgehog for the 16-bit Genesis and Sega wanted to increase consumer awareness of the Game Gear by producing a version of Sonic for the system. 22-year-old composer Yuzo Koshiro had recently started working with Sega, having been asked to compose the soundtrack for the Genesis version of The Revenge of Shinobi 1989. After, he told a section chief he could develop games himself. As a result, a general manager, whom Koshiro met while working on The Revenge of Shinobi, asked him to start developing a Game Gear version of Sonic. Koshiro found it ancient to develop the game because Sega could not make contracts with individuals. His sister Ayano Koshiro served as director and his mother Tomo Koshiro had a behind-the-scenes role, while the first programmer he hired was Shinobu Hayashi. 
The 8-bit Sonic was created specifically for the Game Gear, but Sega also had Ancient develop a version for the Master System, which was selling well and had similar hardware. Porting the original game to the 8-bit hardware was impossible, so Ancient built their Sonic from scratch. The team decided to make their version completely different from its Genesis counterpart. According to Koshiro, the game had three phases of development. In the first phase, Ancient developed the game with the Genesis version in mind. The second and third phases were largely Ancient's own ideas, with Sega supervising their work. Koshiro thought reinventing Sonic for 8-bit hardware was challenging, as he did not work at Sega and had never developed a game before. However, Sega had faith in him because of his relationship to the company. Koshiro composed the soundtrack and sought to retain the feel of the Genesis version. He converted Masato Nakamura's 16-bit Sonic score to the 8-bit programmable sound generator to start, but ended up using only three of those tracks. The remainder of the music is Koshiro's work. Topic: <laughs> Release history. Sega released the 8-bit Sonic for the Game Gear on December 28, 1991. The Master System version launched around the same time, although the precise date is unknown. In Europe, the game was built into later versions of the Master System, while in North America, it was the system's swan song. The Master System had failed to gain a foothold in North America, so its release of Sonic became a collector's item. The American Master System version is simply an import of the European version. Sega covered the European article number barcode with a universal product code sticker so that American retailers could sell the game. Nintendo World Report described the game as a weird release for the franchise because it did not focus on speed. Although it was profitable for Sega, the 8 bit Sonic sales were nowhere near as well. As those of the Genesis original, the game has been re-released in emulated form on several occasions. In 2003, Sega released Sonic Adventure DX, Director's Cut, an enhanced version of the 1998 Sonic game Sonic Adventure for the GameCube and Windows. As the player progresses through the game, they will unlock all 12 Sonic games released for the Game Gear, including the 8-bit Sonic. The Game Gear version is also available through Sonic Mega Collection Plus 2004, a compilation of Sonic games for Windows, PlayStation 2, and Xbox. Sega released the Master System version for the Wii's Virtual Console Digital Distribution Service in Japan and North America in August 2008, and in Europe the following month. The Game Gear version was released for the Nintendo 3DS's Virtual Console in the West on June 13, 2013 and in Japan on December 4, 2013. Reception Reviewers acclaimed the 8-bit Sonic. Most agreed it was a polished recreation of the Genesis game, with Ace and Mean Machines writing those who owned that version could still enjoy it. The game's level variety and designs, the action-packed and addictive gameplay, and sound and visual quality—thought to be on par with the original versions—were commonly highlighted. Ace was impressed to see the Genesis version's main features brought to the 8-bit systems intact. GamePro also considered its visuals top of the line for an 8-bit game. Reviewers criticized the relatively low difficulty and short length, although Computer and Video Games CVG wrote these were also problems in the original and Go, considered the game more challenging than its Genesis predecessor. However, most found the problems did not detract from the experience. CVG wrote that the game still offered the player plenty and was just as good as the Genesis version. Retrospective reviews for the game's re-release on the Virtual Console were likewise positive. IGN wrote that although it was not as visually appealing, fast, or as ambitious as its 16-bit predecessor, the 8-bit Sonic the Hedgehog was still a competent game in its own right with unique level designs that managed to retain the feel of the original. Nintendo Life believed it was one of the best platformers for the Master System and felt it was an interesting piece in the Sonic franchise's history, and found the Game Gear version easy to recommend to those who played the Genesis version and were looking for a new experience, and those who were just starting to play Sonic games. They said, It's short, but it's sweet, and that searching for Chaos Emeralds added replay value. GameSpy, reviewing Sonic Mega Collection Plus, felt the 8-bit Sonic and Sonic Chaos 1993 were the series' only Game Gear installments worth playing. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Legacy. GamesRadar Plus named the 8-bit Sonic the fourth best Game Gear game, and they and Retro Gamer named it one of the best Master System games. The 8-bit Sonic was Anshin's first game. It is the only Sonic game they developed. Beginning with its 1992 sequel, an 8-bit version of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, all subsequent 8-bit Sonic platformers were developed by Aspect Co. The Bridge Zone Levels track became one of the most famous pieces of Sonic music, and was used as a basis for Tails' theme in Sonic Adventure. <laughs> Notes <laughs>